This week on High School Quiz Show, it's Phillips Academy. <laughs> Mansfield High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. The new Drive with Safety mobile app was designed with your teen driver's safety in mind. The Drive with Safety app helps monitor and reduce distracted driving behaviors. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. Hi, everybody. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Back in November, over 100 high school teams all over Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of 16 coveted spots in this year's competition. The goal now is to become the next high school quiz show state champion. And today's matchup has Mansfield High School taking on Phillips Academy from Andover. On the Mansfield team, uh, we have Nick, Cyrus, Mary, and Rebecca. With alternates Mayank and Nick and coach Ken Barrett. And for Phillips Academy, we have Anna, Vincent, LaSalle, and Eric with coach Lebo Wang. Okay, so the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And we will start with a toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So, if teams are ready, good luck, and here we go. What writer from Concord, Massachusetts, wrote his most famous work in a small cabin in the woods near Walden Pond? Yes, Rebecca. Thoreau. Henry David Thoreau, yes, covering nearly 32,000 square miles. What lake on the U.S.-Canada border is the largest freshwater lake by surface area? Yes, Mary. A Lake Superior. Yes, in June 2017, what vice president hired an outside lawyer to represent him during the investigation of Russia's interference in the last U.S. presidential election? Yes, Eric. Pence. Mike Pence is right. In March 1995, after 20 years, British soldiers ended routine patrols of what capital city of Northern Ireland? Yes, Anna. Belfast? Yes. Take a look at your screens. And pictured here is the House of Burgesses, the first legislative assembly in the American colonies. It met for the first time in 1619 in what present-day U.S. state? Yes, LaSalle. Virginia? Yes. In 1687, who published the first of three books known as the Principia Mathematica, one of the most important works in the history of science? Yes, Vincent. Newton? Yes, Sir Isaac Newton. In July 2017, what prize to free agents signed a four-year, $128 million deal with the Boston Celtics? Yes, Nick. Gordon Hayward. Yes. Washington Irving short story, Rip Van Winkle is a fable about a man who falls asleep and wakes up how many years later? Yes, Mary. 20 years. 20 years is right. And take a look at your screens. The next question comes from a very special guest. Hi, I'm Joanne Brothers. I'm the Vice President of Project Management for Comcast. Here's my question. Compared to traditional HD TV screens, the new 4K format boasts a higher resolution of 2160p. What does the P stand for? Yes, Eric. Pixels. No, Mansfield, you want to try it? Progressive is the answer there. We will continue. In 1824, Andrew Jackson won the popular vote by more than 10%, but did not win the majority in a crowded field of candidates. In what some called a corrupt bargain, who became president instead? Yes, Mary. John Quincy Adams. That is correct. What star of the legal drama Suits was the most Googled actress of 2016? 
Yes, Rebecca. Meghan Markle. That is right. Published in 1826, but set in 1757. What major work by James Fenimore Cooper takes place during the French and Indian War? Yes, LaSalle. The Last of the Mohicans. Yes. Math question. In cubic feet, what is the volume of a cube if each side measures three feet? Yes, Eric. 27 cubic feet. Correct. Former human rights lawyer Moon Jae-in was elected president of what country in May of 2017? Yes, Vincent. South Korea. Yes, moving at a speed of about 300,000 kilometers per second in a vacuum, what elementary particle is the basic unit of light? Yes, Eric. Photon. Yes. Uh, what animal has the scientific name Ursus maritimus? Yes, Nick. Polar bear. That is correct. In January 2017, Amazon's bestseller list was topped by what 1949 novel about a dystopian future where critical thought is suppressed under a totalitarian regime? Yes, LaSalle. 1984. Yes. Who was just 40 years old when he was inaugurated as Dwight D. Eisenhower's vice president? Vincent. Nixon. Yes, Richard Nixon. Vascular plants became widespread during which of the following uh, geologic time periods? Was it A, Devonian, B, Cambrian, or C, Permian? Yes, Eric? B. No, Mansfield, you want to try it, Cyrus? Uh, Devonian. Yes, Devonian is correct. In 2017, uh, which Chicago rapper won a Grammy Award for Coloring Book, the first streaming-only album ever to win a Grammy? Yes, Mary? Chance the Rapper. Correct. What river forms the border between Mexico and Texas? Yes, LaSalle. The Rio Grande. Yes. Uh, titled after a Scottish idiom meaning days gone by, what 1788 poem credited to Robert Burns is set to the tune of a traditional folk song? Vincent. Odd Lang Syne. Yes. Math question. Jack bought a sweater for $10 less than half the original price. And he saved $80. How much did he pay for the sweater? Vincent. 60. Yes. What English captain became the leader of the Jamestown colony after being saved by Pocahontas? Mary. John Smith. Yes. In the late 19th century, German archaeologist Heinrich Schliemann used the clues in Homer's epic poems to locate the remains of Troy. In what present-day country? Yes, LaSalle. Turkey. Turkey is right. Finland recently became the first European country to offer citizens a basic income guarantee. This idea was first proposed in what 1516 book by Thomas More? Vincent. Utopia. Yes. And Arrhenius acid is a substance that dissociates in water and forms ions of what chemical element? Yes, Eric. Hydrogen. Yes, the American portion of the Aleutian Islands are part of what U.S. state? Yes, Vincent. Alaska. Yes, in 2013. What spiritual leader of Tibet said he would support a female successor? Anna. The Dalai Lama. Yes. Uh, in what U.S. state can you find Andersonville, one of the largest Confederate military prisons during the Civil War? LaSalle. Georgia. Yes, named after the Scottish scientist who studied it in 1827. What term describes the jittery random motion of particles suspended in a fluid or gas? Yes, Anna. Brownian motion? Yes. What Japanese word refers to the military governors who were the de facto rulers of Japan from 1192 to 1868? Yes, Nick. Shogun. Shogun. Uh, more than a third of all English words are derived from what language that became dominant in English courts and universities under William the Conqueror? Yes, Anna. French? Yes. The Valdez Peninsula in Patagonia is an important breeding ground for marine mammals. The peninsula is found along the Atlantic coast of what South American country? Yes, Eric. Argentina. Yes, in the classic children's novel, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. What is Charlie's last name? Vincent? Bucket. Yes, what unit of U.S. paper cut? Oh, wow. That's the end of round one. The score right now, Mansfield High, 110 points. Phillips Academy, 230 points. Let's hear it, folks. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is up next. But first, uh, we're going to take a couple of minutes. Now, teams, Mansfield, Phillips Academy, I know you're both first-timers. But this is something we do here on the High School Quiz Show. Uh, I have a question. I will ask it, and each of you get a chance to answer it. So we're going to start with Mansfield High and you, Nick. And here it comes. 
What sound makes you cringe? I mean, a sound you really find annoying and why? Hearing my alarm clock off in the morning because <laughs> then I have to wake up and go to school. <laughs> Cyrus, how about you? Uh, so when like a fly buzzes near your ear, so mm. you have to like swat it, but you don't you don't know where it is. And you miss the fly and you hit yourself in the ear. Yeah, yeah, it's awful. Uh, Mary, um, when you are trying to erase something with a pencil, but there's no eraser left and it's Ooh, just the metal scratching against like your desk. Yeah, I hate that one. Rebecca, I really hate the silverware scratching against uh, the plates and the dishes. Mm. You know what else? When somebody eats and then they scrape the fork on their teeth, I hate that. Uh, okay, Phillips Academy, Anna. Uh, I can't stand the sound of a banjo at all. Really? Just the yeah. banjo in general? In general. I grew up in Kentucky and you cannot escape it. No, you really everywhere. can't. It's everywhere. Vincent, how about you? Um, I also can't stand the sound of my alarm clock in the morning. Okay. And uh, LaSalle? For me, I would say it's the sound that my bassoon makes when I misfinger a note. It's this horrible <laughs> squeaking noise. and it's yeah. Okay. All right. You've had the most time to prepare. Eric? Uh, the most cringiest noise is probably a squeaking saxophone. It's, uh, it's a very high pitched oh, yeah. and it, it kills the ears. Well, that's pretty good. Not one of them said, you know what, Billy? It's the sound of your voice. <laughs> really? No, I'm kidding. Uh, here's the deal. It's the head to head round. And again, you're first timers. So what's going to happen is you're all going to come forward and go head to head. You ready? Let's go. Come on forward. <laughs> All right, we're about to go head to head on High School Quiz Show. I've got Phillips Academy to my left, Mansfield High School uh, to my right. If you, you don't mind shaking hands, get things started. Uh, as a reminder, watching at home and everywhere else in the world, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds. Good luck, and here we go. What metallic element makes up most of the Earth's inner core? Iron. Name the northernmost New England state. Yes. Maine. Maine is right. Uh, the Beautiful and the Damned is the second novel of what jazz? Scott Fitzgerald. Yes. Uh, what word beginning with the letter A refers to the ancient citadel of Athens? Yes. Acropolis. Yes. Erythrocytes are also known as what color blood cells? Yes. White. No, red. In June 2017, what male tennis player won an unprecedented... Federer. I'm sorry? Uh, Roger Federer. No, Rafael Nadal. Uh, what Roman god is equated with the Greek god Dionysus? Yes? Um... Oh, damn, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Bacchus. All of the land battles of the Hundred Years' War were fought in what country? France. Uh, what is the oldest university in the English-speaking world? Yes. Oxford? Yes. Uh, the Declaration of Independence was approved by the Continental Congress in what year? Yeah. 1775. No, 1776. Who was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize in physics? Yes. Marie Curie. Yes. In 1534, explorer Jacques Cartier claimed what Quebec River for France? Yes. St. Lawrence. Yes. Elizabeth Bennett is the protagonist in what Jane Austen masterpiece? Yes. Pride and Prejudice? Yes, and she just made it. But that is the end of round two. We take a look at the score. Mansfield High School right now, 110 points. Phillips Academy, 260 points. How about it, folks? <laughs> All right, next up is the category round with the following categories. Some like it hot, Governor's Mansion, Southern Charm, Of the I Sing, The Eagle Has Landed, and Oops. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you can no longer Confer, we're going to need your answer. Now, Mansfield, you have a little ground to make up, so you get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? Uh, we'll take the eagle has landed. Uh, the eagle has landed. These are questions about space exploration. And for 10 points, while Eisenhower opposed sending men to the moon, what later U.S. president made it a national priority with his famous moonshot speech to Congress? Uh, LaSalle. JFK. That's right. And Phillips, you get the board. Category? 
The Eagle has landed for 15. Uh, this time for 15 points. For years, many aviators believed that aircraft could not fly faster than the speed of sound. That all changed in 1947 when what American test pilot broke the sound barrier? Yes, Nick. Jaeger. Jaeger is right. Mansfield, you get the board category. The Eagle has landed. For 20 points. In 1986, the Soviet Union launched the first module of what modular space station that supported human habitation for more than 14 years? Yes, LaSalle. Soyuz. No, Mansfield, you want to try it. Yes, Nick. Skylab. No, Mir is the correct answer, but Mansfield, you still have the board category. Uh, the Eagle has landed. For 25 points, uh, the term Sputnik moment describes America's need to catch up to other countries in technology. It was coined after the Soviets launched Sputnik 1 in October of what year? Yes, Mary? 1959. No, Phillips, you want to try it? 1957, the correct answer. Mansfield, you've still got the board category. We'll close out the Eagle has landed. All right, this time 30 points at stake. In the summer of 2018, NASA will launch what solar probe that will eventually fly within 4 million miles of the sun? The Parker Solar Probe. And uh, Mansfield, you keep the board. You'll need a new category. Uh, Southern Charm. Okay, Southern Charm. Questions about Southern literature. And for 10 points, at the end of Adventures of a Huckleberry Finn, Tom reveals that what runaway slave has actually been free ever since Miss Watson died and freedom in her will? Yes, Anna. Jim. Jim is correct. And now, Phillips, you've got the board category. Uh, we'll stay with Southern Charm, please. For 15 points. At the end of A Streetcar Named Desire, what aging Southern Belle tells the doctor, whoever you are, I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. Yes, Anna. Stella? No. Mansfield, you want to try it? Blanche Dubois is the answer. And uh, Phillips, you've still got the board. Yeah, we'll stay with Southern Charm. For 20 points in Gone with the Wind, Scarlett O'Hara lives at what Georgia plantation named after a legendary hill associated with the ancient kings of Ireland? Yes, Anna. Tara? Tara is right. You've got the board, Phillips. Uh, stay with Southern Charm. This time for 25 points set. In 1960s Mississippi, what best-selling book by Catherine Stockett tells the stories of African-American maids who work for prominent white families? Yes, Mary. The Help. The Help is right. Mansfield, you get the board back category. Uh, let's finish with Southern Charm. Uh, this time, 30 points. In To Kill a Mockingbird, Scout's precocious friend Dill is based on what famous writer who was Harper Lee's best friend growing up? <laughs> Truman Capote. And Mansfield, you've still got the board. You'll need a category. Uh, some like it hot for 10. Okay, questions about volcanoes here for 10 points. Visible from Tokyo on a clear day, what beautiful cone-shaped mountain is actually three separate volcanoes, one on top of the other? Yes, Vincent. Mount Fuji. Yes, and you've got the board. Phillips, category. Um, we'll stay with some like it hot. 15 points. What Hawaiian volcano has historically been considered the largest volcano on Earth? Vincent. Kilauea. No, Mansfield, you want to take a shot? Mauna Loa is the answer. And uh, Phillips, you've got the board. Category? And we'll stay with some like it hot. For 20 points. Uh, what island is home to the tallest active volcano in Western Europe? Mount Etna. Yes, Vincent. Sicily. Correct. You've still got the board. And we'll stay with some like it hot. 25 points. The deadliest, most destructive volcanic event in America occurred in 1980 with the eruption of Mount St. Helens. In what U.S. state? LaSalle. Montana. No, Mansfield. Nick. Washington. Yes, you've got the board back, Mansfield. Category? Uh, some like it hot. Four, 30 points. What well-known volcano in Iceland, which had erupted again in 1845, is referenced in Herman Melville's Moby Dick? Yes, LaSalle. Eyjafjallajökull. No, Mansfield. You want to try? Mount Hecla, uh, the answer. And uh, Mansfield, you'll still get the board. Uh, governor's Mansion. Okay, questions about governors for 10 points. In an April 2017 poll, what Massachusetts Republican was named the nation's most popular governor with a 75% approval rating? 
Yes, Eric. Baker. Governor Charlie Baker. Phillips Academy, you've got the board. We'll take Governor's Mansion for 15. Okay, in July 2017, what New Jersey governor was caught sunbathing at a beach closed to the public because of a government shutdown? Yes, Rebecca. Chris Christie. Yes, and Mansfield, you get the board. Governor's Mansion. 20 points in 2016. What governor signed historic legislation that requires California to slash greenhouse gas emissions to 40 percent below 1990 levels and by the year 2030? Yes, Nick. Brown. Yes, Governor Jerry Brown. Mansfield category? Governor's Mansion. 25 points this time in 1996. Who became the first woman to be elected governor of New Hampshire and is now a U.S. Senator? Yes, Eric. Maggie Hassan. No, Mansfield, you want to try? That would be Senator Gene Shaheen. And Mansfield, you've still got the board category. Governor's Mansion. 30 points this time. Robert Penn Warren's novel, All the King's Men, portrays the dramatic rise of a Southern politician in the 1930s. It's loosely based on what Louisiana governor nicknamed the Kingfish. Vincent. I'm Huey Pierce Long. Yes, correct. And Phillips, you've got the board category. Oops. Oops. All right, these uh, are and will be questions about epic mistakes. And for 10 points, in February 2017, what Ivy League university in New York mistakenly sent out acceptance letters to hundreds of students who were actually not accepted? Yes, LaSalle. Columbia. Columbia is right. You've got the board Phillips category. We'll take oops for 15. Okay. Recently, NASA admitted that it accidentally erased the original recordings of the historic Apollo 11 moonwalk, which occurred on July 20th of what year? Yes, Mary? 1969. Yes, and now, Mansfield, you've got the board. Uh, oops for 20. Okay. In what might be the biggest blunder in Oscar history, La La Land was mistakenly announced as best picture in 2017 instead of what film the actual winner. Yes, Vincent. Moonlight. Moonlight is correct. And now, Phillips, you've got the board. I'm um, we'll still with Oops for 25. Okay. Tasked by Hitler to defend the French coast, what general was not present at D Day because he had gone back to Germany to celebrate his wife's birthday on June 6th? Yes, Nick. Ern Rommel. That is correct. And now, Mansfield, you've got the board. Oops for 30. For 30 points, leave it alone. It's great. And right on target, who said this when his book, The Medium is the Message, was accidentally titled, The Medium is the Massage? Marshall McLuhan is the answer. Now, Mansfield, you've got the board, but there's only one category, and I have it here. And it is of the I Sing questions about patriotic songs. And for 10 points, after witnessing the British attack Fort McHenry in Baltimore during the War of 1812, who wrote the lyrics to the Star Spangled Banner? Yes, Vincent. Francis Scott Key. Yes, and for 15 points. Oh, there's the bell that ends the category round. The score right now, Mansfield's high, 205 points. Phillips Academy, 280 points. This is a very tight round. <laughs> Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. We call it the lightning round. It's going to move real fast. You get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers here will cost you 20 points. The clock is set. Good luck, teams. Here we go. Adolf Hitler started World War II by invading what country? Poland. Yes, a rhombus is a flat shape with how many equal straight sides? Yes, Vincent. Four. Yes, what U.S. state forms the northern border of Illinois? Yes, Mary. Uh, Michigan. No, Wisconsin. Uh, what Utah novelist is the author of the popular science fiction novel The Maze Runner? Yes, Rebecca. James Dashner. Yes, since 1947, India and Pakistan have been locked in a bitter dispute over what region that borders? Yes, sorry. Kashmir. Yes, in 2016, what band released a 50th anniversary edition of its groundbreaking album, Pet Sounds? Yes, Mary. Beach Boys. Yes, a poodle is transformed into the devil in what play by Goethe? Yes, Vincent. Faust. Yes, what Greek word for crescent refers to the curve and liquid surface and also to a piece of cartilage? Yes. Meniscus. Yes, uh, what movie star? Did Egypt ban in 1956 when she converted to Judaism to marry playwright 
Arthur Miller. Anna. Marilyn Monroe? Yes. Uh, what continent is home to the Drakensberg Mountain Range? Africa. Uh, what American author wrote the 1929 novel The Sound and the Fury? Yes, Vincent. Faulkner? Yes. What general was in charge of British troops at the 1775 Battle of Bunker Hill? Yes, Vincent. Um, Israel Putnam? No, General William Howe. Oh, there's the bell that ends the game. The winner this week, Phillips Academy with 400 points. The runner-up, Mansfield High School, 225 points. Congratulations to both teams. It was a great round, a great game. Phillips Academy now will move in to the quarterfinals, so be sure you're tuning in. We will see you all back here next week for a high school quiz show. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. There are hundreds of dangerous intersections out there. Fortunately, there are even more independent insurance agents who work with Safety Insurance, helping to ensure you're covered no matter where you drive. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. A production of WGBH.